Yes, yes, I know. This is going to come out on Wednesday. It's okay. I've already put out a video today. In case you didn't notice. So, you got your Tuesday video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Vlogmas yet. I haven't decided. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. What's, what's going on? Uh busy day today. Got a bunch of sick adult cats. Uh, I think I talked about that last week. Uh, everybody's got a pretty nasty upper respiratory. So, um, going to the vet today. Got the radio show at 9. Got the vet at 11. And have my masseuse appointment at 3. It's a very busy day. Very busy, very busy. Uh, still have two kittens. We still excuse me, have Boo and Buffy. I'll put their little pictures right here. See her. Did ya? I mean, look at it. Ugh. So freaking cute. So freaking cute. So it's getting close to turkey day, y'all. Y'all getting ready? I know. I always have to do my turkey. It is what it is. Lord have mercy. I got to do the shopping. Looking forward to it. Uh, everyone is talking about how expensive turkey is this year. We'll see. Got family coming in, so I may see if they'll allow me to record some things on Thanksgiving Day. And we'll, we might put it out a little bit later or something. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I've got family coming in, so we should have a household. Possibly some extra guests if they take me up on my serious about said offer. Um, I hope they come. So that'd be great. I love a house full of people. I love to feed people. So that should be fun. I got some serious baking ahead of me that I probably need to get on. I think I'm going to probably end up going to the store this week. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm trying to decide which way I want to do it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and bite the bullet and get it done a little earlier. Uh, I don't like having to be in the store that close to a holiday. I'm not going to do delivery this time. And the reason I'm not is because the last time I did de delivery for Thanksgiving, they, th they left off all the really important things like the turkey. Because they tried to say they didn't have any when they had 80 of them sitting in a cooler. I'm just saying. I don't have time for the aggravation. So I'm just going to do the shopping myself. sun's very bright today if y'all haven't noticed. It's quite cool here uh, right now. The leaves are really starting to change and become really pretty. It is about 40 to 43 degrees this morning. Jesus Christ for the love of Mary. I can't talk today. It's not going to bode well for the show. The 
show should be interesting. I'm just going to say, y'all go ahead and watch. I know what it's about today, but I ain't going to tell you. If you want to know, you need to watch. But <laughs> it should be a good one. That's all I'm going to say. All I'm going to say. See, I'm, I'm dressed up a little warmer today because it's, it's quite chilly. Uh, it's quite chilly out today. Oh, geez. Let's see what else we got going on. Um, I have not started putting up the Christmas decor. We still need to get the um, roller shades up. We haven't done that. So we'll see if we can get that done this weekend. I may start to go ahead. Oh, God, this is awful. And uh, start putting up my Christmas decor. I think I'm going to have, and I've gotten the permission from the prince to uh, go ahead and put up all my things. I just won't light the tree until after Thanksgiving. I'm going to be honest, I don't want to spend my long weekend, you know, working because it's work. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy it, but it's still work. Kind of like my real job in dentistry. I love dentistry. I love doing it, but it's still work, right? So I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to spend my whole weekend uh, doing that kind of work. So uh, if the weather's nice, I may, I'd like to put out my lights and stuff outside. Seriously, I'm going to turn them on, but I hate doing that when it's like really flipping cold outside. I would just assume put all my stuff out while it's nice and warm and let it just sit there. And I'm, I'm good. I'm good. No, my projector still has not shown up yet. I am expecting it any time. I'm probably going to send a little email and, and uh, you know, find out where we're at and how things are going because I haven't gotten anything saying that it's shipped. So we are absolutely into the second week of November. So I'm hoping this stuff comes in quickly because I still have a lot of work that has to get done prior to me even being able to put on a show. you guys were going to see this on the first part of this clip um, on Wednesday, but it was Tuesday, but now it's Thursday and you're probably going to see it sometime this afternoon. You're welcome. Why? Um, you know, because I didn't film any more Tuesday and I filmed absolutely nothing Wednesday. Um, I don't know why I didn't film Wednesday, but I didn't. So, you know, it's butt cracked on early. Hi puppies! Hi puppies! These are good boys! There's some huskies that live there and they love to bark at my dogs. They know my car. Like they hear me coming and they will start running because they know the dogs are in here. So when the dogs aren't in here, I like to say hey puppies to them so that they, they don't feel like we're snobbing them. I don't want them talking shit behind my back. Yeah, no. I always say hi to them every time I pass by. They're so, I love huskies. They're sweet babies. Anyway. I know. Um... But it's butt cracked on early. Not really. It's about 8 o'clock. Um, I am... Oh, God. I headed to the stove. 
my Thanksgiving feast, they left all the good stuff out. You know, like the turkey. Yeah. Because they said they were out of stock and they weren't. They had about 80 of them in their cooler. Anyway, uh, so I just, I don't want to deal with the hassle. I don't want to have to go back there again because it's bad enough, you know, to have to do it at all. But then to pay somebody else to do it and then still have to go back and finish the job. <sighs> yeah, makes me really, really, really mad. So, you know, I'm sucking it up, going early, hoping, uh, you know, that nothing's going to be going on at the Fight Club when I get there. Because, you know, that's what we call around these parts, Fight Club. I do. Anyway, um, some people call it the Wally Worlds. I like to call it the Fight Club because there's generally something going on in there all the time. But you ain't supposed to talk about it. So, I'm hoping... No one will be there. It won't be full of yelling adults and screaming children. People that have personal conversations on their phone. So everybody can hear. I don't, I don't, I don't need to know your business, right? Like, I hate Diwali Worlds. I do. I absolutely despise that place. I can't stand it. Why do I go? Unfortunately, the same reason most people do because they have the cheapest prices. I know. I know. I don't want to talk about it. It makes me mad. My nose, my whole face is red. Y'all see how red I am, see? Because my nose has been giving me a fit already today. Ah! Can't stand it. Oh, that's a pretty color. That's a soup's pretty color. I like that dark gray. Y'all see it in the background? Well, maybe you couldn't because the trees are still there. That's a new subdivision going up. They're going up all over the place. There's another one going up right, right here. We'll pass that here in just a second. Yep. So, we're going to get ready for Thanksgiving Day. Why am I going now? I'll be honest with you. The closer we get to the day, the crazier and meaner people get. And I just ain't in the mood. I mean, I'm never in the mood. Look, at, I love the holidays. I do. I absolutely love them. It gives me the warm fuzzies all over. I love to be generous. I just, I do. I love the whole giving part of it and seeing how happy people are. I love it. That's what I love about Thanksgiving Christmas is watching the joy of others. Just fills me up for the rest of the year. But Lord have mercy. The quickest thing to bring that down is running around watching nasty little angry elves because they pissed off about the holidays. Why well, just dash your spirit? So I have a tendency to just kind of avoid those places altogether so as to not ruin my Christmas spirit. Y'all do that, do you? I just, oh, I want to be happy during the holidays. It's one of the few times during winter because I like to personally hibernate. Um, oh, a bird. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. God dang it. Now, see... I'll tell you a little secret. This probably makes me a little on the dark side. Um, anytime, y'all don't laugh. Anytime I see a dead animal, I will drive by and go, oh baby, I'm so sorry. I apologize. I know it's not my fault, but I still apologize and it hurts my feelings. I know. I can be real tender, y'all. I can. Well, when it when it comes to animals, I'm sleep tender because they're innocent. It's like you know, old people and babies. Okay, we're gonna cheat and we're gonna go this way. It's like old people and babies. They're just innocent. You can't be mean to any of them. You're not allowed. That's like a ticket straight to hell. It isn't my book anyway. So we are off to do the Thanksgiving shopping. I gotta get a pretty big bird. Probably the biggest bird they have, which is normally, to be quite honest with you, normally what I do. Um, reason basically being is because I personally love Thanksgiving leftovers. And I love Thanksgiving turkey, especially when it's left over. Except and we only eat the breast meat. Why don't I just buy breast? Oh, I can't do it. I, I, can't, I can't just buy breast. One is because they're super tiny. And two, they charge you a damn fortune for that. Plus, what are my babies supposed to eat? I usually feed my pets a lot of the dark meat. Because, I mean, it's Thanksgiving for them, too. So, they need a plate. So, everybody gets some turkey. They get the little giblets. Because I usually will, will mix those up for make a nice pate for the kitties. And then the, ba the other babies get the dark meat. Because I don't like the dark meat. Waste not, want not. Everybody needs to have holidays. I'm just saying. So, I think what will be fun is, okay, so take note what I look like. 
this, but I will go up and down. Um, I don't want to miss anything. Okay, that's weird. You know, I gotta, I gotta look and make sure I'm getting the best deal. Like, I, that's just the way I am. I can't, I can't stand it. Y'all, yeah. Anybody want to guess how long is it gonna take? How long is it gonna take? Put it in the comments down below. I realize this is all gonna come out at the same time, but you know, stop right now, right where you're at. Since we're talking about it, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell. Leave a comment. Now, when your comment's done, come back and y'all will see the excerpt of this and you find out if you're right. What are you going to win? I don't know. What do y'all want to win? So, guess how long it's going to take me in this damn fight club. Comment what you'd really like to win and we'll see what we can do. I'm making no promises. I don't promise nobody nothing. But I'll see what I can do. I will do my level best for everyone's. Okay? All right. I got to find a parking place. We'll, we'll hang on until I get a parking place. Is there a car there? I'll take it when it's close to the thing. Okay. My mojo ain't in complete full force. Usually I can get front row parking just because I have parking mojo. Ask me later. I'll explain it. All right. It's 806. Wish me luck. I'll be back. Love you. Bye. I made it. It's 944. That's record freaking time. Considering. Considering. So, I spent an hour and 38 minutes. 8.06 to 9.44, hour and 38 minutes, okay? We won't go exactly by the minute, but if you got anything close to an hour and a half without going over, whoever's the closest, I guess, you're going to be the big wiener. I don't know what you're going to win yet. I told you, put it in the comments. I'll read the comments and we'll figure it out. Damn. Let me just tell you about the freaking sticker shock. Now, mind you, I had to buy cat food, which that's about $14 a bag, and I had to buy two bags. I had to get treats for the babies, and that was $10, and so that was about $17 for treats for the kitties. And then I had to get treats for the other children's. And that was probably about another 25 okay, before I even got um, to any, any of my stuff, like human food. Y'all want to know how bad it was? You don't want to know. Cheapest turkey I could find was 87 cents a pound. Normally, this time of the year, we're getting them about 69 cents. I think it was last year we got about 69 cents a pound. That's, do the percentages, my love. What's the percentage from 69 to 87? How much is that a, is that a jump? I believe it's more than 20%. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I know. That's close to $500 trip. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shnikes. God damn. That's enough to put a damper on anybody's holiday. Now it wasn't just holiday food. Like I said, I had to get I had to get washing powders. I had to get dishwashing liquids. Right. I had to get us some fabric softeners down me. Right. Cat food. The animals are expensive. They're freaking expensive. I still gotta buy wet food for the itty bitties. Lord have mercy. Lord. So, I mean, let's see. Let's go into comments too. Do y'all wanna have a competition on who spent the most for Thanksgiving dinner? 
Oh, and now mind you, now this ain't a problem for me, but this might be a problem for some other peoples out there. They wasn't a pie crust in there to be found. Nothing. No way, no kind, no company, unless you wanted graham. Now, it's a good thing I know how to make pastry, and I can make my own pie dough, and it's delicious. But damn it, people. They wasn't one in the entire Walmarts. Not one. What about that? What about that? I ain't gonna scare people and say that we've got a food shortage. We don't have a food shortage. We've got a government problem. That's what we have. Because I guarantee, I guarantee every issue that we are having right now with inflation, labor, product shortages are all caused from governmental action. Fight me if you think I'm wrong. Some way, shape, or form, this trickle-down effect has happened from every decision the government has made concerning this pandemic nonsense. Every one of them. Every single one of them. Yep. Alright, I'm not going to rant too much. I really don't want to ruin people's, people's holidays, but that, that's enough to do it. Now, thankfully... I got enough money I can pay that, but I know lots and lots and lots of people out there that don't, which is just wrong. Wrong. Anywho. Anywho. All right, well, I'm headed to the house because I literally have my back seat full and my trunk full, and now I got to schlep this stuff all the way up the stairs, clean out my refrigerator, and then put all the things up. clean the house. Got to go over to Dixie at one. They've asked, so we'll probably do some videos on this as well, because y'all seem to like it when I'm on the struggle bus. <laughs> so we'll just, we'll go ahead and get a couple tickets, and we'll take some rides. Uh, Dixie had made a, uh, a, a post out the other day that they had quite a few large items that they wanted to put up for auction, but these were like scratch and dent, could be having missing pieces. They need somebody to put these things together. One, let them know if there's anything missing so they can find it, so that they can put these things into auction is what they want to do. She said she's held on to them for a year or so. So, of course, you know, me being me, I said, well, sure, I'll help you. You know, I can grab a few things, put them together, and then y'all got to take them because I got nowhere to store them. I'm full. I'm full. So, I'm supposed to meet her over at Dixie today at 1 and pick up a few things for me to put together and all that spare time I have because gosh knows I have a ton of it. Yep. And put some of those things together and then I have an eyelash appointment today at or in Athens. So I got to drive all the way to Athens. Yep. My car is behaving. She must have heard me because I called her a bunch of bad names. I was talking some serious shit behind her back. She's paying attention today. She's not she's not done it once to me. She's still fixing to go to the mechanic but we got to figure out exactly what it is. There, there's still. I got to check with him Monday to figure out what he wants to do, and I need new shocks to boot. So, yay for me! Yay for me! All right, y'all. I'm getting ready to pull into the neighborhood. So we'll go ahead and we'll end this vlog from Tuesday and Thursday that you'll get to see today Thursday. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, y'all. You know the rules. Now, if you can't stay out of trouble, don't get caught. Okay. All right, y'all stay safe, stay clean, and have a perfect day. Love you, bye.